Serbos Hub, how it works. Hey, it's Alex here from Serbos, and in this video, we're going to look at how Serbos Hub acts as a policy administration point in coordination with your local policy decision points to deliver fine grained authorization inside of your application. So, it all begins with your client app. This is a mobile app, a website, a API endpoint uh, that your users interact with, and this is making requests to your infrastructure. So, that's coming through your API gateway into your environment. And Serbos can work in pretty much any environment now, uh, whether it's Kubernetes, whether it's some Lambda architecture, fully serverless, or more of these uh, managed hosting services. Serbos policy decision points can run local inside of your infrastructure. So that request comes in, uh, and that request will hit one of your applications. Uh, your application here is a policy enforcement point. This is going to be the system that's going to actually enforce the allow or deny decisions uh, to your end users. So to do that, as a request comes in, it's going to be most likely authenticated. Um, so your identity provider, your IDP, would have issued some sort of token or, or cookie uh, to help your application identify who that user is. And that token can contain that user's groups, roles, teams, attributes, etc. The second thing your application knows at this point is what resource they're trying to access based on the request. So it can go out to the database or the underlying data store to go and fetch that particular instance of that purchase order, that invoice, that expense uh, that that user is trying to interact with. And the action they're trying to do is kind of baked into the URL or, or, or the actual request. So they're trying to create, read, update, delete, approve, comment, flag, deny, etc. These are the actual business actions that's going on. Now inside your application, rather than hard coding now your authorization logic, if user is admin, then allow, etc. Uh, you integrate Serbos uh, calls to your application via our APIs or SDKs. And we have SDKs for most languages out there now. And then your application makes a call to a locally deployed policy decision point. So this is inside of your environment. If you're in Kubernetes, it can be a sidecar. It can just be another service inside of your cluster. Equally, it can be another Lambda function or it could just be another binary running on site of your VM. So that API call goes out and is passing to Serbos the subject, the action, and the resource. So here's this subject, they're trying to do a particular action on some on the particular resource, and that request goes over to your policy decision point. Now your policy decision point has loaded into it your policies, and it gets those policies from Serverless Hub. So Serverless Hub is a fully managed control plane. Uh, it is the policy administration point where you uh, define, manage, and roll out policy updates to your locally deployed instances. So in a high availability environment, you're gonna have more than one Serbos policy decision point running. Uh, particularly if you're in a sidecar, you're going to have one PDP running alongside every instance of your application. And in very large distributed systems, you're going to have tens, if not hundreds, of policy decision points running. So all those PDPs connect to your Serbos Hub uh, account, uh, and they establish a connection between your PDPs and your policy administration point. And the first thing that the policy decision points will pull down is the actual policy files. So your PDP now has those policy files into it. But how do those policy files get there? So when you configure your Serbos Hub account, you connect it to your GitHub repo. So Serbos Hub follows the GitOps principles. So your GitHub repo that, again, you own and control, this is in your GitHub org, uh, contains those policy files. And those policy files define the rules and the authorization logic for your application. Those policy files are pulled in on every commit, and that kicks off the built-in CI CD process. So Serbos Hub will, on every commit, compile, test, and validate your authorization policies and it gives you a UI and a build workflow for each of those builds and commits. And then if the build is successful, it will go and update and notify all the connected policy decision points. So all dozen, hundreds of policy decision points that you're running your infrastructure will get a policy update sent to them at the same time. And all your policy decision points will receive the policies in a timely manner, meaning your application will always respond uh, with the latest authorization checks without you having to manage the update rollout policies. Your policy decision points also send back the logs. So your PDPs are generating audit logs for every check that occurs. At this time, this subject tried to do this action, this resource, and it was allowed or denied with this particular policy. And that comes back into Serverless Hub, and we have uh, the audit logs UI where you can actually filter down and drill down into individual actions uh, that subjects uh, did inside of your system. So as a developer, you can debug your authorization checks. As a security team, you can understand exactly what a particular identity did inside of your application estate, all centrally through Serverless Hub. And Serverless Hub also enables you to actually work and iterate on your policies through our policy IDE and our policy playground. You can update, change, and validate your policies uh, at, inside of Serverless Hub. And when you're done, push those out to your Git repo, then kick off the distribution uh, process. Serverless Hub also enables a, a secondary type of authorization check. 
So it's a very common use case when you're building, say, a web application where you want to show and hide UI components or, or uh, fields based on a user's role or particular permission checks. And Service Hub enables this without you having to do extra API calls or exposing a PDP to the internet. And it does this through the generation of a Service embedded policy decision point. So as part of that CI process that happens inside of Service Hub, whenever your policy change, as well as generating policies that are pushed out to your uh, backend instances of your PDP running, say, in your cluster, Service Hub also generates an embedded policy decision point. We are using WASM as the underlying technology here, which means it can run in pretty much any environment, and that gets pushed out to the edge infrastructure, and then your local uh, application or maybe some edge function can pull down that WASM module and run it and do the exact same permission checks. Can this resource, to, can this uh, subject do this action on this resource? And the exact same API interface, but all the decisions are now made locally on device. And Service Hub does all the work to coordinate those policy updates and those uh, PDP updates to make sure from a single source of truth, your GitHub repo policies, both your backend infrastructure and also your client applications are enforcing policies in the exact same way uh, from the same source of truth. And that is how Service Hub works in concert with your local policy decision points to manage your policy updates, collect audit logs, and enable authorization checks on device or at the edge with the embedded policy decision point. Thanks.